change item price, change quantity, and item discount all work in the same way in Corona POS. A lot of the functionality is going to be tied in the keypad in the bottom left hand corner when Corona POS is looking for information to be input before the attempt at a function. So for example, if we had an item on the receipt here, the Cabernet, and we wanted to apply a 10% discount for it, we can select the item on the receipt. Then I can hit 10 on the keypad and then the item discount button over here on the right hand side functions. And just like that, a 10% discount has been applied to this Cabernet. I'll let the customer know what the percentage is on the receipt and how much they saved in dollar amount as well. Change quantity also works in a very similar function. So for example, if we only had one of these items on the receipt, or if we had multiple items that maybe we didn't want to scan or we couldn't scan, you can hit the quantity number, let's say five, on the keypad and then the change quantity button function on the right. And then just like that, you simply now have five of them on the receipt. Lastly, change item price also works in the same functionality. So for example, we can see that this Cabernet is ringing up at $36.99. And if we knew that that was incorrect and it needs to be now $37.99, we can go ahead and type that price in our keypad again. And then onto the change item price button function on the left. Now each one of those Cabernets is going to be ringing up at $37.99. In Corona POS, there's an extensive list of permissions that you can customize for what function you want your cashiers to be able to do and not be able to do. So if they did have the permission to do this type of functionality, that's how that would look.